Sonia, a designer, hand letterer, and illustrator. Today, I wanna show you how you could use clipping mask into your art. So you could use clipping masks to add textures like this into your illustration, or you could use a clipping mask to make something fun like this in your lettering. So the first thing I wanna do is to just quickly show you how clipping mask works. So let's say, I draw a shape. So again, we have first layer and I'm gonna draw a random shape. Let's say a circle in this case, just like that blob. And then the way you create a clipping mask is you're gonna have to create another layer and it has to be on top of that layer that we're using. And I want to draw something within this circle and I don't want it to go outside that circle. That's what you do when you, um, that's what you can do when you use a clipping mask. So what you're gonna do is the select a new layer and then we're gonna select a clipping mask. Whatever you draw within that clipping mask layer will not go outside the shape of the layer below in this case, which is a circle. So I'm gonna use a different color. For example, if I were to draw, let's say some lines, on that clipping mask layer, it's not gonna go outside the shape, which is a circle here, um, it, which is the layer below it. So that's how clipping mask works. Now the question is, so how am I, how am I gonna use this technique and apply it to your own work? Okay, so here I, I wanted to show you in two ways how you can use it. One way is in your illustration, adding texture. Another way is, is using some fun kind of effect in your lettering. So the first thing I wanna do is with this happy blob, I wanna add some textures only on the bottom part where the shadow lies and same thing for this chat bubble. So again, as I showed you, the first thing you wanna do is obviously create the shape, which is this happy blob. So I have created a layer for that. And then I'm gonna add additional layer, which is going to be my clipping mask layer. So I select that layer and then I do a clipping mask. Now, whatever I draw in that clipping mask layer will not go outside of this circle shape below. I'm gonna use a grainy kind of a brush. I will leave the information about the brush in the description box below. I'm gonna choose a, a pinkish color. Maybe I'll go with this pink color like this. And then again, make sure you're drawing on the clipping mask layer. I'm just gonna adjust the brush to be a little bit bigger. But all you need to do is to draw on that clipping mask layer. So now we added some textures. It's a little harsh, so I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my blending mode to multiply and then opacity, lower it down. So it's a little bit more natural. So it'll be something like this. I'm gonna show you one more time on this chat bubble. Again, you wanna create on the layer, the chat bubble. So I have a chat bubble layer right here. I'm gonna create an extra layer on top of that chat bubble layer, and then we're gonna select that and do a clipping mask. Again, whatever I draw in that clipping mask layer will not go outside of the chat bubble layer. I'm gonna go with a little bit darker color here, same pen, I mean same brush, and do that. There you go, so that's how you do the illustration. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how you can use that same technique into your uh, lettering. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna have a layer for this lettering. Uh, so again, this is the lettering I did for one of the Instagram posts. It is this post right here. And then the first thing is you wanna have a layer for the word, which is in this case scares, and then you're gonna duplicate it. So what you wanna do is you wanna swipe to the left and create a duplicate. I'm gonna, uh, for the top layer, I'm gonna go ahead and color with something more popping. So I'm gonna use the same orange that I did on the post. So I'm gonna color it. Okay, before I use the clipping mask, I wanna add fun sprinkle effect on the same layer as the color layer. So how do I do that? But I don't wanna go over that letters. So how I do it is you could click on it and select the alpha lock. So it will lock it only to that letter. So whatever I draw on this same layer, it's not gonna go outside. 
So the brush I'm using here is Litho Brushes Tiny Sprinkles. I will leave the description, the brush details in the description box below. I'm gonna go ahead and choose a darker color and just color them. Like so. And now you could see, I'm gonna click it again, take out alpha log. Now you can see in this layer, it, it has both the color and the sprinkle effect. Now I'm ready to use my clipping mask. So again, how clipping mask works is whatever I do, like the texture, if you remember on that layer, it's only gonna show within that shape. So here I'm gonna click on that layer where I have colors and sprinkles. I'm gonna do a clipping mask and see what happens. Whatever I move around, it almost seems like this white letters are punched so it, it, those are the cutout area where only thing that's showing is what's underneath so let me see let me see if i can uh, show you this so here if i move this you see how it almost looks like those letters are cut out and you're only seeing what's happening on the on the bottom layer which is in this case um it's the colored and the sprinkle layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and move around something like this. So it kind of adds that fun white area. So what you're seeing here is you see the white area of the original letters and you're also seeing the colored and with the pattern at, as well. But again, it's only showing through the shape of the layer below, which is this one. So that's what you do to create this fun effect. Obviously you can move around as um, any way you want. You could uh, maybe do it like something like this, or you could do the opposite way, something like this. But that's another way. Um, another way you could use a clipping mask. So hopefully um, that was helpful. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more of these, um, you could go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification. Any comments are welcome. Thank you so much for watching um, and I'll see you next time.